For 30 years, the Hubble telescope has been taking images of our galaxy and taking us to places we've never gone before. This morning, NASA just released more than 50 new images. These are the latest of the 1.4 million images that have been captured by the Hubble telescope in its 30 year history. So in this morning's science lesson, we're going to find out some more about these beautiful images. Joining us live this morning is Mac Mulchler, who is the principal staff scientist of the Roman Telescope Branch. You're live with us from Maryland this morning. Max, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Great to be here. Yeah, so why don't we just start with these new images? Uh, where did they come from? Well, as part of our 30th anniversary celebration, we're releasing these images. They're really from our archives, so they're not brand new images. Um, but it's a collection of images called the Caldwell Catalog, which are objects that you can, you know, you can see from your backyard. They were assembled uh, to encourage people to go outside and, and have a look. So, uh, you know, some of them are naked eye objects that you don't need any equipment for. You can just find them in the sky and see them. Others, maybe, you know, binoculars or somebody with an, a telescope and some good observing experience may, may be needed to see some of them. But they run the gamut from, you know, galaxies, star clusters and nebulae and all kinds of cool things. Yeah, they're just incredible there and they're beautiful. Max, we know that December are usually a pretty good time to take a look. Uh, at the night sky. Uh, I know that one of the best meteor showers of this year peaks on Sunday. Uh, give us some advice. When should we be looking? Where should we be looking if we're interested in seeing that? Yeah, so December is really a great time because, you know, the sun sets early, so it gets nice and dark. The cool, crisp air is actually the best. So you mentioned the Geminid meteor shower uh, this weekend. So if you just can, can get out on a lawn chair and lay on your back and look up, you'll definitely see... Uh, fragments of a large asteroid that, that you know, is shedding particles. So people call them shooting stars, but it really just is like dust and gravel particles hitting the upper atmosphere of the Earth, and it's pretty cool to watch. Mm -hmm. The other th really cool thing is Jupiter and Saturn are really close together in the southwestern sky right after the sunset. I stepped out last night to take a look. They're closer than they've ever been in like 800 years, and it's kind of weird. And that, you, you don't need a, a telescope to see that. They're really bright and they're really close together. And if you just look southwest after sunset, you'll, you'll see them. Mm -hmm. Max, we know you're in Maryland this morning where uh, your office is located, but I want to give people a little hometown pride. You're a UW-Madison grad there from Racine, uh, and you have a, a local Minnesota connection as well. That's right. Uh, so I, I married a beautiful woman uh, from Stillwater 32 years ago. So we've been happily married. So even though I'm a Badger and a Packer fan, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we, we, got <laughs> we got some of those. We got some of those too. Real quick, Max, uh, tell us, you know, the Hubble telescope is only supposed to last 15 years, now going on 30th birthday. What's next for it? Yeah, it's amazing. And I've been working on Hubble for all the, 30 of those years. And, you know, we've had our ups and downs and, uh, but we've lasted this long because it was launched and serviced by the space shuttle with spacewalking astronauts fixing the telescope for us. But the last one was in 2009 and uh, there's no more space shuttle, as you know. So we don't know how long it's gonna last, but it's amazing to me how well Hubble is working right now in 2020. And there's no reason right. to think, you know, it seems like we're gonna get many more years out of it, but it is like an old car and we can't say exactly how many more years. All right, Max, uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Go Bucky. Uh, probably get in trouble for saying that, though. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Have a good one.